Jubilee aspirants are apprehensive of the forthcoming party nominations and the use of smart cards to determine candidates for various elective seats. Now, the party secretariat has, however, assured aspirants of free, fair, and credible primaries ahead of the National Election Board's launch on Monday. Our Francis Kashuri has the details. It's a race against time for aspirants seeking to fly the Jubilee flag in the August general election. <laughs> Jubilee aspirants trooping to the party's headquarters to submit their nomination applications, whose deadline has been extended by five days. The nominations will be conducted next month, and the party leadership acknowledges the enormity of the challenge ahead. First of all, I can tell you that nomination process is not a walk in the park, especially in the stronghold, stronghold areas. <laughs> The party hopes to identify its members who will participate in the nominations electronically through the smart cards launched in January. But the cards have presented yet another headache for the party, with crafty aspirants purchasing thousands of cards ostensibly to lock out their competitors. The issue of activation has been a problem and it's, it's a technical challenge that we have. Sometimes so many people are trying to activate at the same time. Sometimes our systems are just not able to cope with it. Sometimes it is the person who is doing the app loading, trying to activate, who misses a step, uh, putting a space where there should be no space. It's a whole range of things. The party hoped to use the Independent Electoral Boundaries Commission, IBC, to conduct the primaries. However, the electoral body declined the request only offering technical support with Jubilee processing its ballot papers and recruiting polling clerks to oversee the exercise. Some aspirants fear the party's interim officials in the counties will manipulate the outcome, a concern the party promises to address. I can say, for example, take that team which is in Muranga to go and conduct the nomination process in Kericho, for example, so that there is less um, uh, contamination of the process by people's vested interests. The Jubilee National Election Board will be unveiled on Monday. The nine-member team will be chaired by Poka Wanyonyi. But even before the party embarks on nominations, political formations in the counties meant to grab a majority of the seats have triggered friction. <laughs> In Meru County, a jubilee lineup dubbed Kikali, comprising Senator Kiraitu Murungi, who is eyeing the governor's seat, Florence Kajuju, who is seeking to retain the woman representative seat, and Igembe South Member of Parliament Mithika Linturi, who is in the senator's race, has run into trouble with the defection of Kawera Mwangaza from the Party of National Unity, PNU. <laughs> Mwangaza was received into Jubilee by Deputy President William Ruto yesterday and her entry complicates Kajuju's political arithmetic. What happened between me and the Kawera Mwangaza in this story? Naina Mama. Did I think it was Kirikiko Mama, Niawe, and Patokea Heo, Makesha? Yes, sir. Sister Shakurana for Facebook. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at One.